Welcome to the Key Casting Challenge where we're going to take these keys and try to make a working copy in our garage. I need to make another copy of my house key and I could go to any hardware store and have that done pretty easily. But then I'd have to go outside and deal with people. Uh oh. What? People. <gasps> oh no. People. I don't want to. So I'm going to try to make my own. Now on this project I'm going to be doing sand casting. I take a wooden box called a flask, put the keys in it, pack the sand around, and hopefully that'll keep the shape of the key. And I'll add a shark tooth, cause there's room. I use a very fine grain Petra Bond to hopefully capture all the details of the key. Well, once I've coated the surface, I'll use an older reconstituted Petra Bond. This has been burned and I add oil into it to make it usable again. I pack the sand nice and tight around the key so it forces the sand into all the little crevices and details. Now not only did I put my house key in there, but I put my Chevy truck key in there. Some of the sand overlapped around the edges so I'm going to carefully scrape that away. And I'll try to make sure the notches have a nice clean party line as well. The powder helps keep the next layer of sand from sticking to the first. That'll ensure that it separates cleanly. More Petra Bond is added on top. And then it's packed down hard like before. Now you can see that the sand didn't pull cleanly from the key's main groove. That's going to be a problem. I'll tap on the keys to try to loosen them a little bit and then dump them out. Then we'll see what the other side looks like. They're pretty light so they don't want to just fall out on their own. I'll have to extract them myself. and the sand pulled away from the other side too. It's not going so well so far. I'm going to keep going and see how we need to modify this as we continue. I carve in the gates and runners that will allow the metal to flow into the void. Since I've got a lot of it, we'll make these keys out of bronze. I heat the bronze up to over 2000 degrees and once it's molten, I skim off all the impurities that float to the top. Normally I let this cool a lot more before I open it, but since the camera's on, I opened it right away for dramatic effect. The shark tooth looks good, but the keys, not so much. When there's a clump of sand on the metal and you try to quench it, it can explode when the water hits the metal. It's like a popcorn kernel going off. If it's big, it can be big and scary. Well, none of my keys turned out, but I got a cool shark tooth that worked, and that's why I do that. 
available on Etsy. My truck key almost turned out except for the last little tip. The house keys didn't work at all. So I'm going to try again, but this time with some heftier venting. I didn't think I'd need to, but I guess I do. The next attempt looks just like the first. But this time I'm going to take a welding rod and make a little channel that'll help air flow out of the void. Once again, the sand didn't pull cleanly from the key. But let's first get a key of any kind and then we'll figure out how to make it work. Here goes pour number two. Still not quite there. The metal cools at such a fast rate that it's not making it to the end of the key before it solidifies. Well, another failure, but another shark tooth. Available on Etsy. The truck key is really close, the house key no. I think I'm gonna need to try a vertical pour. That always solves the problem. This job needs some more power. That's better. Now I'm going to use a file to get up all the flashing and make sure that the key profile is exactly the same as the original. That's pretty close, so I want to see if it's close enough. It won't quite fit. Dang it, it's just a little too fat. Nope. So it's on with the vertical pour. The vertical pour is just what it sounds like. Instead of the metal flowing horizontally, it flows straight up and down. Now with a vertical pour, there should be more weight to the metal helping carry it all the way to the tip of the key. So that's my first impression with packing the sand and then I made two more impressions of just kind of pressing it in there. We'll see how it works. And of course another shark tooth. If it fails, at least I'll have that. You may be laughing at me now, but I want to see you guys do better. This is the key casting challenge. Show me your process. So uh, once again, it didn't work. What do we do when things don't work? Just give up. I'm going to try one more time and then give up. This time, I'm not going to add a shark tooth. This one's devoted to just the keys. This time I'll carve two runners in the keys, one at the top end, one at the bottom, and hopefully the metal will get all the way through. And I'm going to switch to aluminum, which has a much lower melting point. Looks like we have a complete truck key, but the house key, nope. This is turning out to be way harder than I thought it'd be. The truck key actually turned out fairly well. Maybe it'll work. The house key still didn't turn out good. At this point, I'm officially announcing the key casting challenge. All you metal casters out there, show me your best attempt of casting a key. 
Tag me in your YouTube videos or on Instagram or Facebook. Hashtag key casting challenge. Because I'm beginning to think it's not possible. Meanwhile, I'm going to file down this truck key and see how close we can get. All right, let's try this one. So it turns out there's a computer chip in the key and it may open the door, but the truck doesn't recognize it quite the same. I still need the manufacturer key to start it. So to open the door, it works. To start the truck, nope. So the house keys have all been failures. We got close with a few truck keys, and one of them actually kind of works. I can open the truck, but I can't start the truck. Now my truck key is a little thicker, which makes it easier to cast. And the bevels cut in there actually have a release angle, so the sand doesn't get trapped. With the house key, the bevels are 90 degrees, so once sand is packed in there, it just wants to tear apart. I couldn't get the sand to pull away cleanly on any of them. And especially with one of the bevels, it kind of makes a pinch point right before it gets into that really thin section. So casting a key is actually a lot more challenging than I thought it'd be. So house key, total failure. Truck key, half failure. Half success. Truck key, half success. Now the challenge belongs to you. Show me how it's done. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.